Hello guys, this is a pitch for dra uh, a Phantom Dragon game. This game was developed for the Game Jam Plus 23 in less than 48 hours. And it's a rail shooting game in which you control a dragon that must face a fleet of enemies with more advanced technology. This game was developed by two persons, uh, Elisa Favela, who was in charge of the art side, 2D and 3D art, and me, Luis Lagatillo, that was working on the programming side, but also kind of the level design and maybe a little of the game designer. So, this game, uh, on one hand, it was an experiment and a practice for us because we wanted to know more about how Unreal Engine 5 worked. Uh, this game is made with Unreal Engine 5. And also, it's a tribute to the work of Yukio Futatsugi and his Panzer Dragon franchise. So, let me show you how this is working. Uh, this is a 3D game made with Unreal Engine 5. You can control this dragon. This dragon moves along all the viewport. And the camera and the dragon are moving on a rail. We can decide which way or which path this rail can, can follow. So we can have very strict decisions of, of where we want to the player be. So, this is like a representation of a cannon. In this place, we surely put in some enemies that you can shoot them. Um, the dragon will shoot energy from his mouth to just try to take down the other ships. One of the big advantages of having this kind of, of game on rails is that you can have these kind of decisions of just where do you want to the, uh, the player to be. So, in this case, we're going through a tunnel and we are trying to avoid these structures because can make you some damage. And also we can take some decision of, on the compositions or of where we want it that the where we want that the player exactly uh, have some kind of views or of some artistic experience. So uh, what type of people will be interested in on this game? Our targets are all the fans of the Dragon Panzer Dra Saga. There's been a while since there's not been another uh, Panzer Dragon game. There's a lot of fans of the Sega era, Sega Genesis, uh, Dreamcast, uh, Saturn. And these games were very popular in those days, but they are not making any more of them. So there's another example of this. There was a game called Jet Set Radio that it was also very famous on the platforms of Sega, but they were not newer releases on the franchise. It was abandoned. But there was a, a indie game um, called uh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, developed by Team Reptile, that made uh, like some kind of tribute to the uh, to the Jet Set Radio franchise. So. That's the target that we are aiming for. People that it's very old. Uh, well, very old, it's just like saying 30 years, 40 years. People that is very nostalgic about this golden era of the Sega uh, era. <laughs> and yeah, I think there, there will be very interesting on, on playing something that is like very similar to the Panzer Dragon, uh, more of the nostalgia part of it. So uh, there's a lot of things we still have to do just for ending this game. We we have to develop all the features for shooting, for aiming, for for the enemies, some bosses, and we also have to work on the on the environment art. We are aiming for having like six levels. I think it will be a very achievable kind of game because once we have like the basic logic, we can replicate it and just translate that to new levels. So that's that's our goal for this game. Making a beautiful arcade type game that will be aimed for older generations in very nostalgic generations and making a good product that it will be a, a very good tribute for those uh, old days games. Thank you.